Hello friends, in this video, I'm just going to explain how to remove play your PSP games on Windows PC. So these are the system requirements you can go through. I will be providing this link in the descriptions. Okay, next thing is we need to install the PS Remote Play app on Windows PC. Here is the download options. I need to agree and click on download. So once you download it right, you need to install it. Install this app. So next, so it is installing. It's okay. I'm going to launch this. So I need to sign in with the same account. For example, I need to use the same user account. So this is the ID, Vicky the Gamer. You can check that. When you do the first time setup, you need to choose your account, PSN account, which account you want to set up. So I want to set up PS Remote Play for this user ID. So I'm going to choose that. Both should be in the same Wi-Fi connection as well. Now I'm going to log in, sign into PSN. Click on sign in. So confirm and continue. And to connect the controller to your PC, so connect your controller and PC with the USB cable. So connect your PSP controller in your Windows PC. So I need to choose this PS5. Before connecting to your PS5 to use remote, enable it on the PS5 you are connecting to first. Okay, I'm going to enable it. Going to settings. And here we need to choose system. And here we need to choose remote play. And here I need to enable remote play. Both should be in the same Wi-Fi connections. I mean internet connections. You can check out that on network. So your Windows PC and PS5 console should be in the same network. Next thing, you need to enable power saving. So features available in this mode. We need to turn it on. So stay connected to the internet and enable turning on PS5 from network. So even if it is in this mode, right, we can remote play the PS5 games. So it should be enabled. So that's it. All set. Now going back to PS Remote Play app. So giving OK. And I need to choose the console because I have two consoles. So I'm going to choose that. Searching for connections via the internet, linking your PS5, checking the network. Super cool. Now remote play is successfully connected. So the clarity also good. Super cool. You can connect PS5 wireless controller to Windows PC and you can access. I mean, you can navigate using the controller. Now I will be able to directly stream to YouTube, Twitch or Facebook gaming. So I don't need any capture card also. You can enter full screen by clicking this arrow mark, bottom right side. So this is a full screen. And next thing I'm going to enable HDR also. So I need to close this. I'm going to close. Put the connected console in the rest mode. Okay. I'm putting it into rest mode. Open PS Remote Play app. Because I'm going to enable HDR. So click on the settings. And here come to video quality for remote play. Here by default, right? HDR is not enabled. I need to enable it. So first I'm going to turn it on the Windows PC. So I'm going to search it. HDR settings. So I need to enable this. Use HDR. So HDR is enabled successfully. HDR is on. Okay. Minimizing it. So now I'm going to enter. Enable HDR. Click on settings. Enable HDR. Super cool. The resolution will be very much better now. So I'm going to again connect remote play. PS5. Super cool. It started. Now you can see the better resolution in PS5. Do not forget to enable HDR if your monitor is supported. So that's it. Hope this video is very much helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Please put a comments and feedbacks in my video forms. Thank you. Bye friends and take care.